All right, it is 9-9. Here's our daily angelic message. This is what you need to know. This is the 9-9 energy portal. Lots of things are going to be going off today. And the angels are coming through and helping you understand what's happening and how to get through. So this is very important, okay? So we have the wheel. Now on this card, the number 10 is showing up. So this feels like it's very good fortune for you. I'll hold it up here in a second. But this is good fortune for you. But it's showing that today's the day that's going to spark off a whole month worth of activity right and spiritual growth and things that are coming up to the 1010 energy portal where you know what to let go of now uh if you don't know i do personal readings i sometimes do a live format via zoom i am offering that again if you want one of those angel souls email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. If you want a standard reading and you want it by the 1010 energy portal, I can't stress this enough. I know a bunch of people are <laughs> coming like a week before and everyone's going to expect their reading by 1010. Not happening, okay? If you want it by 1010, you got to get in line now, all right? And I would even say in the next couple of weeks, now you got to be looking at your 1111 readings if you want those. You don't have to get those, certainly not. Um, you know, you can get any kind of angelic message if you want. But the standard readings are angelsouls444.com. There you go. All right. So we have the wheel. This is a very beautiful time. Something's breaking open. There's some big realization. There's some, I'm excited. Look at me. I'm like all hyped up. I also just had coffee. But anyway, <laughs> this is Archangel Jeremiah. Archangel Jeremiah shows up in our life and he has this beautiful kind of um, enriching, supportive. Obviously, the archangels are very supportive, but Jeremiah is sort of the one that comes and takes your hand and says, let's examine the past. It's all right. I'm here with you. I can help you see it from like a storyline point of view instead of being emotionally invested in it. I can help you clear that past away. Archangel Jeremiah is also very associated with past lives. So you might have a little bit, look at we got tingles with that one. Past lives. So that for some of you watching this, there's a past life connection that is ending. Or maybe someone's coming back around. It certainly could be that. By the way, angels can help you with anything. We would tap into Archangel Jeremiah for a past life reading. I also do Akashic Records readings with the angels with Archangel Metatron. So whatever you want to do. I like, because a lot of times people forget what I put out there. I'm sorry. I'm not like, <laughs> not trying to make this a commercial. I swear. It just helps me to not answer so many emails. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. So Jeremiah is looking at the past. It's healing the past. It's, you know, making the adjustments, the disconnects, you know, letting, letting a karmic cycle end, for example. And he's, because he's about life review, that helps you get squared away so you know how to move forward. Yes. And what to create next. New beginnings. Watch the weekly. Watch the weekly. It's so important to watch the weekly. New beginnings, end of delays. Yes, baby. Uh, a change in direction that offers happiness. If that's what I want to say. It is a change in direction. It's a change of your mindset. Now, if you take this from a very shallow standpoint, this isn't going to work out well for you. You're going to think it's working out well, but it's not. You missed the point. You're going to reincarnate again. I'm not interested in that. So I say, hey, Throw it to me. Okay, what, what do I got to take care of <laughs> so I don't have to come back to this earth? Let me do it, right? But the wheel is good fortune. It's something finally breaking open. But you're realizing what work you need to put into it to make it happen. For a lot of us out there who are very, very spiritual, we do love to sit around and meditate and dream and try to just manifest, you know, whatever. But the angels are saying, eh, there's a reason why you have a density consciousness body. It's a vehicle. You need to be using that vehicle to navigate and to bring things into third dimensional reality, right? So you're getting your inspiration, but you're figuring out the practicality of how to bring it through and how to make it real in this dimension. All right. So if you want to leave your comments down below, let me know how your day is going. Make sure you watch the weekly. Roll with it, guys. I love you all so much and take care.